Okay, now we're going to get just a little more practice using pedigrees. We're going to look at the pedigrees practice worksheet. It's there in your um, Google Classroom. So, in humans, albinism is a recessive trait. So, it tells us there it's recessive. The disorder causes a lack of pigment in the skin and hair, making an albino appear very pale with white hair and pale blue eyes. This disorder also occurs in animals. A common albino found in the laboratory is the white rat. The pedigrees below trace the inheritance of the allele that causes albinism. Okay, before we had mentioned that albinism is sometimes um, X-linked, in this case there's, there are different alleles located in different places on different chromosomes that can control for the skin color. So this one is the, this one that we're looking at here is not the X-linked one. This is just a regular autosomal allele trait there. So. It's on the autosomes, not the uh, gamete, not the uh, sex chromosomes, it's on the autosomes. Um, so it's recessive if this person has dominant, dominant homozygous, dominant, two dominant alleles, then we know that this person is going to have that dominant trait, so it would be normal pigment, the genotype AA homozygous dominant would have the phenotype of normal pigment. The uh, individual who is big A little A, again, it has a dominant allele, so that dominant trait of being normal is going to show up. And then the only way to show that recessive trait is to be homozygous recessive, little A, little A. So this little A, little A person here would have the phenotype of being albino. And we're going to use that information to fill in our little pedigree here. So the ones that are affected, we know that's a recessive trait, they would have to have two little A's. So this person right here, um, it's going to be little a, little a, and I'm probably going to write it up here above. Okay, so this person up here is going to be little a, little a. And, oops, okay. Oh, it's not going to be little lady, so I'm going to hmm, see if I can fix that. I'll put maybe a dash in there. So that, little, 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 yeah, that worked. That one's going to be little lady, little lady. And this one over here, um, showing the dominant trait of normal pigmentation, this one will be a big A and a something. Again, this is like a test cross. So we've got to look at their offspring and see. Dad here can only give little A's. Okay. And we ended up with this affected individual right here. It's going to be little a, little a as well. So dad gave one of those little a's. Mom would have also had to give it little a's. So mom has to be big a, little a. And then the sibling right here. This sibling right here that is unaffected had have gotten mom's big A, but daddy only had a little A to give, so that one would have to be big A, little A. And same for um, this sibling as well. She would have gotten a big A from the mom, and dad can only give a little A. So that would be this. How many children does this family have? Well, this is mom and dad. This shows that they gave birth to these offspring, so one, two, three children. What are the sexes of the children? They're all three circles. Remember, circles are females. So they're all girls. And we've got the blank of the pedigree below. Okay, so let's see. we're still dealing with albinism here. And it was the recessive trait, so everybody who has it has to be a little letter, a little letter, and this is going to get a little tricky here. Um, being able to put these in. Um, I 
I'm just gonna come over here to this side, maybe, and put them. Yes, I don't need that either. Um, if you can open this and if it'll let you open it in dot cover can you when you'll want to do that so you can fill this in because I don't know just don't let me fill it in. It's not anyway, we'll talk about them. So this individual right here has the trait, so they would have to be little a, little a. This one would be little a, little a. This one would be little a, little a. And this one would be little a, little a. So we know that much. All these that are unaffected would have at least one big A. So this parent would be big A and something, and this parent would be big A and something. But when we look at their um, offspring, their children here, we can determine that they have this son here who is unaffected, so he got a big A from somebody. But then we have this daughter here who is affected with albinism, which is a recessive trait, so she would have to be little a, little a. So she's little a, little a. That means dad had to have had a little a to give her, and mom would have had to have a little a to give her. So both mom and dad would have to be heterozygous, big A, little a. So we know dad here would have to be big A little A. And then mom over here would have to be big A little A. Because this little A would have had to go here and this little A would have had to go here to make this Daughter here be a little a little a. And then this son here has at least one big A. And he married a lady here who has at least one big A. So we know both of those are showing the dominant traits. So they each would have one big A, but it's the same situation. They ended up with a child who had two little A's. Because he's showing the recessive traits. So he would have two little A's. So that means, again, this dad here would have to have a little A to give him. And this mom would have to have a little A to give him give him. But we know they also have a big A because they're showing the dominant trait. So he would be big A, little A, and she would be big A, little A. And he would be little A, little A. And this one we know would be big A, but we don't know big A what. Because he could have gotten a big A for, she could have gotten a big A from mom, but she could have also gotten dad's big A, or she could have gotten dad's little A. So we don't know for sure. And then we have this other daughter who also got a big A from one parent. We know that much. And then she's married to uh, someone who is affected with albinism, so he is little a, little a. But they also have a child here who is little a, little a, which this is so dad gave one little a, so mom has to have a little a to give as well. So this child would also be big a, little a. She would have to be heterozygous as well. So eight says, how many children does the original couple have? And this is the original couple. They had a daughter and they had a son. So they had two children. How many grandchildren did they have? This one did not marry. This one married. And then they had one, two, three grandchildren. This granddaughter got married. So they have a grandchild in law. And then they also have a great grandchild right here. Okay. That's that one. You know, this one. That's really what we can get to. Okay, he. Um, does not have the trait, so he has at least one big A, we know. We don't know the other one yet. Um, she is affected. Mom here is affected, so she has to be little a, little a, because she's showing that recessive trait. This child would have a big A, but we don't know a big A or what. Um, this child would also have a big A, and he's married to someone who has a big A. But we can figure more out about these two 
because they have a child who is affected. So this child right here would have to be little a, little a. That means dad would have had to have had a little a to give, and mom would have had to have a little a to give. But they also both have a big A because they're showing the dominant trait. So both of these would be heterozygous, big A, little a, because they had a little a, little a child. Um, same as here, we know that this child is little a, little a, because she is showing the recessive trait. So mom gave one of her little a's. Dad also would have to have given a little a. So dad here has to be big a, little a. And we don't know if this child got a, a big a or a little a from the parent. We do know this this son here has at least one big A. You could have got a big A from Dad. But we didn't. We could have got a big A from Dad. He had to get a big A from Dad. And then Mom only had little A's to give. So we do know that he has to be big A, little A. He has to be big A, little A. She has to be big A, little A. And that's little A, little A, little A, little A, and little A, little A. Um, how many children does the original couple have? This is the original couple, and they had a daughter, a son, and a son. They had three children. How many grandchildren do they have? And then what is the sex of the grandchild? So they had three children. This one got married, so that's a daughter-in-law. And then they have one grandchild. He's a square, so he's a boy. One grandchild who is male. And he intends looking at rats. Rats have lots of babies, as you can see. The rats can produce a lot more offspring than humans, making the pedigree more difficult to manage. A researcher has four female white rats. Named April, May, June, and July. One night the cage is left open in the lab and a brown rat got into the female's cage. Six weeks later, the rats had litters of babies of varying colors. Two of the offspring managed to produce before the researchers were able to sort out the mess. The researchers decided to make a pedigree to determine the genotype of the offspring, but he could not remember how to make one. The image below shows his pedigree. Can you determine the rat's genotype? So the albino rats, again, will be recessive. The uh, non-affected ones would have at least one. So Manny is non-affected, so we know Manny would have at least... Manny would have at least one big letter. Uh, so May is affected, so I guess Manny is the rat that got into the cage with them. May is affected, so she would be little a, little a. Okay, she's little a, little a. She has, they had a daughter together who uh, is not affected, so she has a big A. She got a big A for Manny. But then they have these two sons that are affected. So May gave one of those little A's, but the other allele had to come from Manny over here. So Manny has to be heterozygous. Because he had to give this son a little a and this son a little a. So Manny is going to be big a, little a. May's little a, little a. This one is big a, little a, because May can only give a little a. And these two would be little a, little a. Okay, June was also albino. She was little a, little a. And she too has a little a, little a offspring, big a, little a. Because she could only give this one a little a. And Manny had to give the big a. This one would be little a, little a. Manny would have given this one a big a. And then Jean would give this one a little a. So that one would be big a, little a. Same thing here. Um, July could only give little a's. So these would have, three would have gotten a big a from Manny and a little a from July. So they're big a, little a. This one, these two have two little a's. So again, Manny was heterozygous because he, July gave a little a, and Manny would have to give a little a to those. So um, all the affected offspring are little a, little a's, and all the unaffected offspring will have to be big a, little a's because the moms only have little a's. Yeah. Mm -hmm.